Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how to arrange your golf bag. I know it sounds very easy, but a lot of people get it wrong or just get overwhelmed on how to do it. Over here I have two golf bags to show you. There are many, many, many different type of golf bags out there, but these are just two samples to show you how you can arrange your golf bag. If you come closer, we can start looking at the main part, which is down here. So in the golf bag, this is the one I currently use. You can see they have three main compartments followed by little compartments along the side. In this golf bag over here, they have a main compartment, two little guys and a main compartment as well. But today I'll specifically be talking about this golf bag because that's what I use all the time. I just wanted to show you the difference in golf bags and then we'll work through the accessories after we put the clubs in here. So let's get started. Currently have all my golf clubs laid on the floor just to make it easy to explain. They go from the longest club to the shortest clubs. So we have the driver, your fairway woods, your hybrids, all your long clubs that you would hit off the tee box. All of the long clubs go first in the top section. So my driver gets used the most and I would stick my driver right in here as I use my driver the most and then all my fairway woods I would place them in the other compartments like this. I'm done. Most people like to have it longest to shortest so some of you will have your longer fairway wood go in first and then your shorter one go in after. The next thing that people actually get incorrect is they put their putter down here, but the two clubs you probably will use the most are your driver and your putter. You'll use them on practically every hole, your putter for sure. So you want easy access to your putter. I have left the gap up top open over here for my putter. Now, if this was a bag with a big area up front, I would have my putter up here as well as that gets used the most. Then we head to our irons. I have the longest iron I have is my five iron. So I will go from my five iron all the way to my nine in a nice organized fashion. So let's start with five, six, and seven. So I have my five, six, and seven, and I will have those in this top area up here. Boom, done. Then I have my nine and my eight. So the second compartment over here, I have my nine and my eight. Done. Then in the last compartment down here, I have my wedges. So if you have a pitching wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge, gap wedge, all of your wedges, you put that on the lowest compartment that you have. So for my wedges, all of them, I stick them right in here. Now, as you can see, I have an opening for another club. You can have more woods or whatever you want in here. This golf bag was made for my umbrella to sit outside my bag so it doesn't scratch all my clubs. You wouldn't see me putting my umbrella in with the rest of my clubs. So if you don't have an umbrella slot out there, you definitely have one in your bag. So come closer so you can see this. I have this little string up here. The umbrella goes through this string, through this right here, and all the way on the bottom, you will see it has a little nook that it just fits right inside of. So how do I tighten it? I have the string up here and I pull to make sure it is nice and tight. And my umbrella, has a spot. So if you don't have an extra compartment, that's really where your umbrella goes. Those, this is how you put all of your golf clubs in your bag. Now the accessories. People panic about the accessories and what compartment each one goes. So let's do that right now. I have taken all my accessories out of my bag. Let's start with the outside of the golf bag. 
the golf towel. So Club Pier has these fantastic big towels with these amazing hooks in front of them. If you do not want to put your towel around your clubs that a lot of people do, just so that the, it stops the banging, you use the big hook. My fancy golf bag even says towel. So I would take this, clip it on here, and bada boom, bada bam, my towel has a spot. If you don't like it dragging and touching the floor, like I mentioned again, you can grab it, stick it in between your driver and let it hang. So there we have that. That's done. Water bottle. As you have probably seen or you might not have seen, I've done a video on the 10 things, 10 must haves in your golf bag. You will find that link at the end of this video to know what you actually need in your golf bag. But I always talk about water and snacks. So I have my water bottle. I have a hole over here actually for my water bottle, which sits perfectly in there. What I would suggest is that one of the biggest mistakes I've also made is putting the water bottle in the big zipper. If you put in the big zipper, my bottle has leaked before and gotten everything wet that I had in here. So if you don't have one of these spaces, try and put it somewhere else, but not in the big zipper. Because in the big zipper, what you would put is your waterproof. So here are my waterproof pants that I would just stick in there. And here's my waterproof jacket because I live in a wet climate where there is a lot of rain. So I have my waterproofs in the biggest compartment and I zip it up just like that. So my waterproofs are done. Then this compartment in the middle, it's a big, big area. You need to put your golf balls. If you're a beginner golfer, lots of golf balls. All of them, just stick them in there with the box if you want. If you want more space, take the box out and zip it up golf tees i actually have an area up in my golf bag here a little zipper in that little zipper i like to put my golf tees with a little rubber band just so they're all together and you can just place them all in there and i like to be extra organized so i even put my ball markers in a little ziploc so i can always just pick them up with my divot tool slide that in there as well so before you start your round that's my zipper. I go in there, grab my tees, ball marker, divot tool. I'm ready. I'm putting it in my pockets. And then you have gloves. I always have two gloves as well. And I like to put my gloves where my balls, my golf balls are, just so it's easy, quick. Everything that I need straight away when I, fir when I first go to the tee box is right here. A lot of you might have a range finder in a big case. You can always put that on any of the hooks you have over here. You would just put your range finder out there. I have a Garmin watch, which I use as my range finder, tells me um, all the yardage on here. I always have the charger of this attached to my watch. I don't leave it at home because you will come to find out on your way to the golf course, you will panic and be like, oh, did I charge my Garmin? And you'll panic. So it has a USB cord and you can charge it on your way to the golf course. So always have it attached. And that you can keep in any compartment that you like. I have this very fun little compartment up here that detaches from my golf bag. I love this one right here. In here, I put my wallet, money, chapstick. Let's open it up. I have extra, I have a lot of extra tees in here extra ball markers, two chapsticks, so aggressive. I have two divot tools, also aggressive. Pencils, I have pencils in here, a little compartment, and I always have cash in here. And a secret weapon for a post round, a little thing of perfume. In case you have to go to the 19th hole and eat or entertain, you don't wanna smell, there's no showers, I have a little perfume. But I would put my Garmin in here as well, and that way, if I'm headed out, I would just take this with me with my wallet in it and I'm off. So look how cool this is. There's a magnet down here and Velcro. So if you come around here, I'll show you how it just, in five seconds, it just sticks. Velcro goes first, boom, and it's on. 
The other compartments that I have are, if you come a little bit closer, you'll be able to see is where it actually says, my bag's so cool, it says score card. So I have my score card in here that I slide in. In this zipper I have, which you have to go see my 10 must haves, because in this zipper I have my little first aid kit, my bug spray, feminine products, sunscreen to protect our face and hands and body. That's what I have in this zipper over here. I actually have a fun other zipper on this side. And in here, the number one thing that we all must have, snacks. And I have a lot of them. And also it's insulated, so it's a little bit of a cooler. So if you have a smaller water bottle or drink of choice, you can put it in this zipper on this side. And that is the exterior of my golf bag. I hope that really helped. Let me know if you have any questions at all about your golf bag. You might have a funny little compartment somewhere which you're confused about. Leave all of that in the comments below. If this video helped, as always, click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button. See you next week.